We shall now learn how to display the edit form inside the Moodle dialog. When the user clicks on that link button for edit, an ID is sent to the server through an AJAX call and the server returns a form which is displayed in the Moodle dialog. So let us see how to do that. Let us first of all review the story how it will go. These are the edit buttons. User is clicking on them and call goes to the web server. It calls AJAX edit passing an ID to it. This is HTTP GET. This is what we have at present. Now what we have to do is return the HTML for the edit form. This is what we have to do. Now how to return this story? The user has clicked for edit ID is 1, the call comes here, the database is searched for the record at ID 1, that data is filled into a form and the completed form is sent there so that it appears in the modal form along with the data values for the drop down also, text boxes, drop down and also a send button. This complete HTML has to be sent to the modal dialog so that its HTML is filled proper and so that the form is displayed to the user properly. This is a challenging task. So, so many things are involved in this. How do we settle this? The method is to use editor template here. It will simplify our task to a lot of extent. We will write an editor template and see the mechanism for returning it completed. So editor template as you know they will be placed inside the home controller with a folder editor template and there we'll write some HTML code for the editor template. Okay, what will that code look like? Before going for that, we can discuss that. That code, no doubt, should be something, uh, sorry, it, it should be something at the rate using begin form and inside it your usual form drop HTML dot text box for X goes to or HTML dot drop down for so that whole story X goes to this will be put inside that and finally followed by an input type is equal to submit so this sort of story is likely to be there. First of all, let us decide whether at this point it will be ajax.begin form or html.begin form. This is one thing we should decide. To decide this, we see this small box. Here I have that data entry form shown in the modal dialog. This is the modal dialog. Here you have that data entry form shown. And here is the send button. 